So I want to share with you today a little bit about a podcast that I've been listening to over and over and over again because I'm so, so passionate about it. It's um, done on the Entree Leadership Podcast and it's with Sean Acor and he is a over 10 year Harvard researcher who um, studies happiness and he wrote this book called The Happiness Advantage and I will link the podcast below because it's an amazing, amazing, amazing interview. So a couple things that I learned just from listening to this interview are some gold nuggets, some pearls, some words of wisdom that you're going to want to keep track of. You're going to want to write down, post on your bathroom mirror, like good stuff. The first one that totally spoke to me was about happiness and how society now, um, our natural is the pursuit of pleasure, which is not the same thing as the pursuit of joy and how in Buddhist culture and um, the Greeks back in the day, they defined happiness as the joy you feel when going towards your greatest potential. I want to let that sink in for a second. The joy you feel when striving towards your greatest potential. To me, that just like blew my mind. So much so that when I was recording my notes on my way to work, I was like throwing out cuss words like right and left because I was so so shocked at this concept. It was crazy to me because it changed my whole thought process on happiness. That it's joy. That happiness is not just pleasure. It's not just something that could be short term, not something that you just feel in the moment and that dissipates like when you eat an ice cream cone and it tastes really good and then you are done with ice cream cone and then you're like, well, now I want 10 more because that was awesome. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't have ice cream because I love ice cream and I'll always love ice cream. But what I'm saying is that you shouldn't define happiness on the pleasure you feel after one act. 